okay now what we are looking is functions and variables after the es6 so here i can have functions and variables dot js functions and variables how do you define the variable variables can be defined either by let or the var so let you can say what you can say age is equals to i can say 15 age is equals to what 15 let ag is equals to this thing see i am neglecting the semicolons if you go to the es6 you will find there is no semicolon semicolons are optional in the es6 you don't need to have the semicolons yes. these are the optional thing in the es6 you write it or you don't write it one and same right so that's why i have defined one variable right you can operate on the variables also or instead of age i can say num1 and you can have let num2 is equals to 20 and here you can have what you can say let result is equals to num1 plus num2 right and you can say console.log and here I can say result is dollar res or instead of this dollar res you can write num1 plus num2 also expression also here you can write any expression function call anything anything is possible even you can call one of the function also that is also fine these are nothing but the expression but remember that these are the back ticks not the single quotes styled operator right below the escape there is one button that button i am tapping right so i have written what you can say i have declared two variables here made some operation and try to execute inside the js now what is this log what is the console what is the log remember that some people have written this as the function don't worry this is about the typescript right this is the typescript but in the js people have defined this function which will accept string as a parameter people have defined what function log is nothing but what one function remember that what is a log log is nothing but simple function right log is nothing but what simple function now how to define function can you define your own function log is written by js team consider that js team has written the function that's nothing but the log and this log function is for logging on the console right log is for what logging on the console okay now here what i can do is that function i want to define my function and you can say calc result name of the function calc result and like this so function calc result and something like this right now you have this is nothing but what function definition you need to define the function in this way this is nothing but what function definition right now this function can have parameters function can return something see how let me define the function fun function calc result with param and you can define two params nm1 and nm2 right function defined with the parameters the function is taking now two parameters third thing function can return something function calc result return 
this is a function let me have nm1 and nm1 and nm2 and from here i would like to return nm1 plus nm2 i would like to return what see here we have understand how to pass the parameters here we have understand how to return the value and this is a simple function definition right now you have defined this function likewise you have called the log on the console object you have called dot means console is one object and on that object you have called the log okay now here you can call the function one by one calc result see i am just calling it then you can say calc result param and you can say 15 and the 50 right then you can say calc result here it should be calc this also a return right 78 56 this would be returning you one value right you can say let rs is equals to this thing this function is returning you one value which is the calculation of nm1 and what nm2 this is nothing but the rs and you can print it console dot log what you can say function result is function result is you can say dollar and what rs dollar and rs calc result calc param this this is nothing but what function calls these are nothing but what function calls this is how you will call the function this is how you will define the variable this is how you will call the function function sorry this is how you define the function and here you call the respective function right if you get the output right let me come to this project let me come to this folder and here i can say open in the terminal right keep the code in front of you and then you can say node right node and function variable dot js see here result is 35 function result is 145 so first result is coming from here result is 35 and second result is coming from what this line defining the function and calling the function very important thing defining the function and what calling the function now with respect to the es6 with respect to what es6 there are some things to understand the function representation has been changed so es6 says that function can be represented in the way of lambda right let me tell you how so consider that i have one variable i have one variable you can say let fn is equals to let fn is equals to you can write a function also something like this you can say something like this so i'm defining i'm assigning function to what fn right to the variable i'm assigning what function <coughs> now same thing you can have let fn2 is equals to functions can be represented in the terms of lambda so if you write console.log here and you can say this is traditional function this is traditional function and here you can say console.log and here you can say this is lambda or arrow fat arrow but more precisely that is coming from 
the mathematical terms called as lambda functions from the mathematics it has came see this is a representation of the function this is a different this this and this is very same there is no difference lambda so to the variable you have assigned the function to the variable you have assigned what function here also to the variable you have assigned what function this is called as lambda or the fat arrow you can call it as what fat arrow lambda or the fat arrow remember that es6 says that functions can be represented by the fat arrows right so functions and the variables okay so let rs is something like this so this can be represented in another way which is nothing but the lambda is okay well i suppose this is about functions and variables this is a little bit about what functions and variables right when you talk about the lambda and you are inside the classes when you talk about lambda and you are inside the classes the meaning of this inside this is different and meaning of the keyword this inside this is the different we'll we'll see time to time right when when we are going to learn what you can say classes and the objects at that time you'll get to know that thing okay so this is all about what you can say functions and variables so over the period of time i'm going to touch more concepts related to this but for now this is sufficient okay now in the next what we are going to learn is the loops how loops are working right how arrays are going to be defined and many more things